Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have another three looks, one palette video, all easily recreated and wearable looks. Today we're going to be using the Thirsty Palette by Jeffree Star, so if you want to see that video, keep on watching. If you guys haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like my three look videos. Comment below letting me know other palettes you would like me to use. If I have them in my collection or if I can get them, I will. Um, of course, sharing this video helps me tremendously and hitting the notification bell is amazing as well. Okay, so before we jump into the look, um, if you have, is, if this is the first video of mine that you've watched um, that I've done, the three look videos, basically these looks are all supposed to be wearable for day or nighttime. They are supposed to be easily recreated. This is not Instagram makeup, quote unquote. This isn't, I didn't spend hours blending or cutting the crease or anything like that. The whole purpose of this video is basically to give you guys three easy looks with the palettes that you already have in your collection. Um, just to give you ideas of how to use the colors without needing like extensive makeup um, expertise, basically. So, um, so yeah, this is just how to use the colors in your palette, how to get use out of the palettes that sit in your collection and be a little bit more creative with the colors and really mix and match. Um, but again, these all these looks are designed to be very easy and as simple as possible and um, yeah, able to be recreated by more people than not. So without further ado, let's jump into the first look. Okay guys, so I'm loving how this first look turned out, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm grabbing Subtle on a big fluffy brush. This one is by Morphe. And I am just going to start buffing that through the crease. Again, just those windshield wiper motions. This is one of my fluffier blending brushes, so I love it for just creating a nice wash of color through the crease. Subtle is a cool toned, taupey brown shade. It makes for an excellent transition color. And I have to say, I really enjoyed doing the other eye look, guys. It was really, really lots of fun to do. All the colors were pigmented and blended really well, so I'm very pleased with that. So kind of just buffing that in right there. It's a very, very dark day out today. I feel like I can't even like see what I'm doing. Um, it's super rainy. It's the first day of my summer vacation and it happens to be a very, very rainy day, but I'm actually not mad at it because I got to sleep in, listen to the rain. It was quite lovely. Um, all right, going in with Drizzle, which is the darkest shade in the palette. It's a dark, I would say, I would call it a cool tone brown actually. Um, and I'm gonna take a slightly more tapered blending brush and just place that right where the eye folds right in the crease there and just buff it out. If you see some sparkle, it's just from the other eye that's transferred onto my brush a little bit. So sorry about that if the camera picks it up. Kind of inevitable, un inevitable? <laughs> inevitable when you're using glitter shadows. So just kind of building that to my liking. And I'm also concentrating a little bit of that in the corner of the eye as well and then just carrying it on through. So I'm not doing like a really intense smoky eye, but I am wanting a little bit of that dark brown right in the corner there just to create some contrast with the glitter shade that we're gonna put on the um, rest of the lid. Just kind of deepening that up as much as you like to. Now I'm gonna take um, the big fluffy brush that we initially started with in Taste Buds, which is a very, very sheer pink and I am just going to buff that over top just to kind of meld those colors in with my skin so it's not a harsh gradient. And I'm looking at the other eye, it looks a little bit darker, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of drizzle and just kind of nestle that right into the crease. Okay, great, so I'm gonna take a stiff brush. This is from Real Techniques, I'm gonna wet the brush. My favorite way, I've told you guys a million times, my favorite way to apply metallic shadows is with my finger. But for the sake of precision, I'm gonna take this brush and dip into Filthy, Filthy, I apparently can't talk today. Filthy Rich, which is a very, very glittery shade. It's pretty much stunning. It's like, I don't know, it's just like this metallic glitter. It's really, really pretty, so I'm just packing that right the way over about three quarters of the lid. And I'm trying to do a pressing motion over a swiping motion just to reduce fallout. But I already know I'm gonna be a glittery mess by the end of this 
little video here anyway, so bear with me. But I'm just pressing it in. We're getting some really nice, dense pigmentation. I'm not getting anything sheer, so that's exactly what we want. Dipping back into drizzle, I'm stamping a little bit in the corner here. And I'm just bringing that right over where that glitter sort of got into our crease. Okay, for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna take this little brush by Morphe, it's the 506, and then I'm, I'm going to, guys, this is getting bad. I'm going to dip into Subtle and Drizzle and just basically run that along the lower lash line. And that is basically the completion of the very first look. I'm just going to apply some mascara, then I will show you guys what it looks like close up. But super, super simple, it took me about 10 minutes and I am kind of obsessed with it. These colors together just make me feel tangly inside. <laughs> um, let me do all those things and I'll be right back. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by. But I think about you, about you all the time. Looks like you're changing it. Okay guys, so the second look has been a little bit of a struggle, not gonna lie. I did have to take off the initial look because I tried wetting the green color to make it really, really vibrant and it just, after I wet it, it really wasn't blending in with the other shades at all and it was just looking like kind of a patchy mess. So bear with me. I wanted to try and recreate it because I do absolutely love the way this gold and this green look together and this is actually a really easy, recreatable look. So, um... Yeah, so we're gonna do it. So I'm mixing kumquat and stroke. And again, please ignore the glitter everywhere. This is just inevitable when you are applying glitter shadows and then taking them off. You know what they say about glitter in the makeup and craft industry. You can't really ever get rid of it. So it's just gonna kind of live there for now. But I'm applying this really softly. I'm just kind of dipping into the two shades about one time each. And I'm really just concentrating this right above the crease. This is just gonna kind of be like a background shade to make the green pop a little bit more. And I'm applying just really, really light pressure so I just get a nice even blend. Okay, so now for the green shade, I'm gonna take this big brush by Morphe and it's just kind of a dense shader brush and then I'm going to dip into the green color and just basically press it on the outer and inner corners of the eye. Can get a really, really beautiful pigmentation without dampening the brush. It just tends to fade as you blend it out. So if you want to keep as much pigmentation as possible, just um, you might just have to layer more than you're used to. So going back in with Kumquat and Stroke and just kind of blending out those edges a little bit. See when I blend it really just kind of takes the color intensity down a bit. Okay, now I'm going to take my finger and plunge, which is a bronze gold shade, and I'm just going to kind of gently press it through that open area in the center and just kind of blend it in either direction with my finger. So, then going back in with the green, just kind of re-intensifying that and blending it in. Again, you are probably going to get a little bit of fallout with these glitter shades, but that's really to be expected. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the upper lid. For the lower lid, I'm gonna take that same brush and the green color called Splash, and I'm just going to hit the inner and outer corners of the lower lash line. And for the Splash color, I'm gonna take this little teeny tiny detailer brush by Real Techniques. I'm going to wet it, and I'm gonna use that to apply plunge to the center of the lower lash line. Okay. 
Okay, so to finish off, I'm going to take a little bit of parched and I'm just going to kind of stamp it right underneath the brow just to brighten up that area ever so slightly. That shade isn't one that shows up significantly, but I do feel like it helps to just kind of mattify under the brow and bring just the slightest amount of light under there, especially if you already have a little bit of concealer. All right, so I'm just going to touch up my mascara a little bit and we will finish the look. Looks like you're changing in all. But why didn't you, why didn't you call? like a sunset inspired kind of gradient winged out eye so to start off I'm gonna grab the smoky crease brush from Sephora cosmetics and I'm, I'm going to dip into kumquat, kumquat and stroke again and I'm just gonna basically gently start buffing that through the crease and taking it all the way in towards the nose again I'm using a light hand with this I don't want it to be a super intense color but these two colors together really make for a super, super nice warm transition shade. Whereas the lower la lower layer of the palette, like that last row there, is more cool browns. The top layer is more warm browns, which I tend to gravitate towards a little bit more, even though I did really like those others to get other colors together. Um, but I'm just using kind of like a circular buffing motion to kind of just gently buff that all over the eye. It's raining so hard outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it has literally been torrential downpouring all day long. It makes me want to watch Netflix and take a nap. <laughs> um, all right, so we're just going to jump right in with the star of the show here, and that's going to be the Bitch Shade. Bitch! Um, and I'm going to essentially press it into the outer corner of the eye right up against that tape. You're probably gonna have to go in with a couple layers of this to get the pigmentation that you want. I like to use a pressing patting motion when I want more intense pigmentation. I'm gonna grab a blending brush and just a touch of those two initial shades and just kind of feather that out a bit because I wanna make sure it matches the other side. Okay, I'm gonna wet a Carity E32 brush and dip into Lick, which is a true gold metallic shade. And I'm just going to be pressing that on the inner corner of the eye. You can do a half cut crease for this if you would like, but these videos are really about, I mean, sometimes I might go into the whole cut crease thing, but these videos are really about kind of easier looks that are a bit less involved and a little bit less time consuming. None of these eye looks have taken me really more than 10-15 minutes and that's kind of the whole purpose of these um, three look one palette videos is to just make them ultra ultra wearable and recreatable for anyone anywhere on the makeup expertise spectrum. So and I'm just going to take a tiny bit more of that pe pink peach. I think I'm getting tired. I think I need to eat lunch soon because my vocal output is starting to fail. I love when you blend these two colors together how that it makes like a little orange gradient. I really like that. And that's pretty much it for the upper lid. So I'm going to remove the tape and you are left with a very very crisp line. This is probably one of my all-time favorite makeup techniques because I just love the crispness of how that looks. It just looks so professional and like clean and well done and really it doesn't take any it just takes a piece of tape which is amazing and you can really pack the color into that edge and not have to worry about having a messy edge so I just love that technique all right so to finish off the upper lid I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of quench which is that yellow shade mixed with kumquat it makes like kind of a mustard orange and I'm just going to buff that all along the upper line there just to really gradiate it 
into the rest of the lid and kind of emphasize all the colors. And that is pretty much it for the upper lash line. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna dip into Quench again, which is that bright yellow, infamous yellow shade. And I'm gonna pack that right into the inner corner of my eye with a pencil brush. I find when um, colors aren't as intensely pigmented, using a very, very dense detailer brush actually really helps to get the most out of the pigmentation versus a fluffier, less compact brush. So I'm just really concentrating that in the inner corner of the eye and kind of dragging it over. And then for the rest of the lower lash line, I'm gonna grab Bitch again and just really kind of buff it all along there and connect it to the wing. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the look with a winged liner, and I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil to line my waterline with white just to brighten up the eye. My eyes have been through a lot <laughs> making these looks and removing eye makeup, so they're a little just dull looking. So I'm going to do that, and that'll be the last. Today's subscriber shout out goes to Lisa Grieg, or Grieg, I'm not entirely sure exactly how to pronounce that. Thank you so, so much for your comments on my videos recently. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed or unrecognized. If you would like a subscriber shout out, don't forget to comment on any one of my videos and hit the notification bell if you would like to do so. And let me know in the comment section that you did hit the bell. That would be most appreciated, but just a comment will do. Thank you guys so much uh, for all your support. Okay guys, so that completes the video. I really, really hope you liked this. I'm so inspired by the colors in this palette. I feel like I could even do more looks than just three, so maybe, who knows? Knows, maybe I will do another look with using this palette um, with more like creative or kind of involved looks. Let me know in the comment section below if you might like to see something like that. Um, but that completes our video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to uh, check out my community tab for lots of updates and more personal uh, connection from me and with my subscribers. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!